Evening. It's been a burr under the saddle of many Texans for more than a dozen years. Now it's being challenged. The Texas Dream Act has been on the books since 2001, allowing students who come here illegally to pay in state tuition rates. Does it lure illegal entries here? Should taxpayers bear that burden? KXAN's Phil Prazen has more on the fight that resumes this week at the Capitol. Governor Perry signed the law almost 15 years ago after almost every lawmaker approved it. But as waves of people cross the Texas-Mexico border illegally, more and more political campaigns say those benefits draw people here. Ann Patrick is the only candidate for lieutenant governor to oppose in-state tuition for illegal immigrants. Border security is still number one. Conservatives won by double digits last November, and the law is at risk. It's a question of fairness to American citizens. Our new governor says the law law should at least be looked at. The way the law is structured is that it's flawed and it has to be fixed. Up, up with education, down, down with people. Despite protests this year supporting the Texas Dream Act that say we shouldn't break that promise to students who are here by no fault of their own. It's simply giving them hope. Monday, a Senate panel on border security will hear public testimony on Senator Donna Campbell's bill to repeal it. The same day, Hispanic lawmakers plan to publicly denounce the attempt, setting up a showdown tomorrow in the Capitol. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Now, this repeal bill is expected to pass the Senate, but the House is another story. During last week's budget negotiations, an attempt to repeal the DREAM Act through the budget process failed. Well, taking a closer look, according to the Center for Public Policy Priorities, that's a liberal think tank, some 25,000 take advantage of the Texas DREAM Act. It allows students who came here illegally to get in state tuition rates if they've lived in Texas for three years, if they say they're seeking legal status, and if they've graduated from high school or received a GED in Texas.